it's one of the Queen's attendants. Let's get inside. Be strong, Svana. Mother! No! No! Svana! Your father! The kingdom! Watch over! Mother! No! You can't die! Mother! Sire! The assassins might return! You must get to somewhere safe! Have Joran's lackeys come to gloat? We came here to warn you, Your Highness. And yet my wife lies dead! If you had listened to us... Like she did. If I determined Joran had a hand in this, <laughs> there will be war! Someone take care of my wife! Father, please. Gods, what a disaster. The Queen's been assassinated and Svargrim still refuses to listen to reason. We need to find a way to set things right. Good question. The guards should have been able to handle a run-of-the-mill assassin. This could be connected to the Ice Reach Coven. In fact, I'd wager my axe that it is. Look around. See if you can find any indication of how the assassin got in and out of the palace so easily. Maybe even turn up something that ties the murderer to the coven. I'll make sure the princess is all right. Svana's taking this pretty hard. I suppose most daughters feel close to their mothers. Not that I'd know, I never knew my mother. Sorry, don't mind me. Did you find anything that might lead us to the assassin? You've seen these medallions before. On the Reachmen near Kilcreath. And I saw them on the witches in Ice Reach. The assassin definitely seems to be in league with the Coven. But can we get Svargrim to believe that and accept the danger he's in? Svargrim has every right to be angry. He watched his wife die right before his eyes. But he's the High King. He doesn't have the right to be stupid. Time to make Svargrim confront some hard truths. Come on, the sword thane led the king upstairs. We need to see the High King. I should think not. The High King is in mourning. He's not to be disturbed. The Queen's wasn't the only life lost today. Now get out of our way. I, uh, go right in. Your Highness, please. Your kingdom is in grave danger. My Queen's blood hasn't yet cooled. And already Joran's lackeys hound me. We have proof that the coven threatening your kingdom is responsible for the Queen's death. Show him, partner. Does Joran think me so weak that he believes his half-giant can twist my arm and fill my head with lies? I am not so easily duped, outsider. Reach witches. They pose no threat. We've beaten back those wild dogs time and time again, fell our brothers to the east, bowed down to a poetry-writing milk drinker. I will not be lectured on such matters by the likes of you. Tales told around campfires to scare the children. Storms happen here all the time, and none of them spawn monsters. The last spy who spoke of such things. Well, he no longer speaks of such things. I am the Wolf of Solitude. I know my enemies. You dishonor my wife's name by letting it pass through your treacherous lips. Away with you! And pray I don't find evidence that ties you to the Queen's murder. That would not go so well for you. We'll leave you to your grief, Your Highness. Is it true? Mother told me you were working for her before she... I'm sorry, Svana. 
I would have saved her if I could. My mother. She told me she gave the mighty Lyris Titanborn an important task. Tell me, what were you doing for my mother? Threat? What threat? And do you think this is why someone came into the palace and killed her? And did you tell my father all this? Is he rallying the soldiers? Alerting the other halt? <sighs> my father sees Joran's plots everywhere, even in his spicy venison stew. Well, I won't let my mother's death be for nothing. She trusted you, and so will I, my father be damned. Please, find whoever did this and stop them. I saw the assassin. He moved fast. Unbelievably fast. He leaped through the window after stabbing my mother. By that time the guards had gathered, so I guess he decided to flee. Try to follow his trail. Someone outside must have seen something. He was fast, that's for certain. Here and gone before the guards could even draw their swords. Other than that, I didn't get a good look. The inside of his hood was nothing but shadows. My father? Listen to me? When horkers fly, maybe. But probably not even then. He gave up on me a long time ago. I'm sorry. I'm no use to you. No use to anyone. I'm not my mother. Never will be. But I swear I'll do whatever I can to help you. You have my word on that. No. My mother... The last time we spoke, I hurled a mug at her. But I came when she summoned me. Just in time to see her murdered. I... I need to pull myself together. She asked me to watch over my father. The kingdom... I can't let her down. Come on, princess. Let's get you somewhere safe. Don't call me princess. Just Svanga. There's nothing noble about me. I'd rather not leave Svana alone. We don't know if any more Ice Reach Coven agents are lurking about. Besides, you're better at talking to people than I am. Find witnesses. Track where the assassin fled to. I'll make sure Svana gets someplace safe. The assassin may have leapt out the window, but he must have had help to get that close to the king and queen. Even Joran's guard had traitors willing to help the coven, so why not here too? Hmm. What was the name of that orc at the Lonely Troll? Yeah, Mog. He's lazy and a drunk, but I don't see him as a backstabber. Savannah trusts him. It might put her at ease to have a familiar face around. The princess needs someone to lean on right now, and neither of us has time to play nursemaid. Life. She is like ice. So cold. So pale. Uh, all the warmth sucked out of her. There was a commotion at the palace. Everyone was headed that way. Except one man. No, not a man. He wore an eye patch, but his face was bestial. He dragged her along like a bone between a dog's teeth. Then he tossed her aside. Pale as snow. He was fast. So fast. Ran to the Hall of the Dead. He never even looked back at what he had done. in a brand new card game, Tales of Tribute. 
Will you pray with me for these poor souls? Cut down and bound for the Hall of the Dead much too soon. It was a monster, a vampire. I have seen such creatures before, but this one wore an eye patch. It moved like a shadow and took sustenance from these poor souls. I called upon Arke's grace, and the vampire fled before his sacred presence. Toward the main gate, I pray the guard finished off the depraved creature before it took another innocent life. You again? Didn't I warn you about putting your nose where it doesn't belong? A vampire? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But whoever it was tore out Sonolia's throat and fled through the gate before I could stop him. What do you know about all this? And why is it any of your business? The Queen's dead? What about the High King? He'll have my head for letting the assassin slip away. You think, with the High King, really? But I'm a loyal subject. No more talk. I need to get Sonolia off the street. This is Spargrim's fault. He should have heeded us from the start. Damn Spargrim and his distrust of Yorin. How many more of his people have to die before he accepts the truth and lets us help him? Forget that for now. Tell me about the assassin. Did anyone get a good look at the murderer? That would explain the Assassin's swiftness and ability to escape so easily. We knew the Ice Reach Coven had vampires on their side, but using them so blatantly. Anything else to report? Well then, time to fight fire with fire. They've got evil vampires, and we've got a friendly one. Let's find out exactly what your friend Fen knows about vampire clans in the area. Where did you tell them? Right. To research the ritual. Go find them and see what you can learn. I'll stay with Savannah. Bring her up to speed on everything we've uncovered. We're going to need her to get the High King to trust us. And I'm calling him Fen. It's simpler. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, my friend. You must be freezing. Warm yourself by the fire, and tell me how your audience with the High King went. A bold move, even for them. Old Njolin and I have been comparing notes, 
and we've made some progress studying the Harrowstorm ritual. What happened to your large friend with the axe, by the way? We knew that vampires were working with the Coven. And old Mjolin and I can say with certainty that the feral Harrow fiends are byproducts of Harrow Storms. You think the assassin was one of the vampires in league with the Coven? An eye patch? That's uncommon. And this insignia, I've seen it before. It's the same as the symbol that decorates the urns smuggled out of Bankarai. If it belongs to a vampire bloodline, I'm not familiar with it. I suggest you ask Mjolin. Local wisdom dictates that only the very brave or the very foolish seek the counsel of vampires and old crones. Which are you, I wonder? Well, out with it. What can old Mjolin do for you? A grim talisman. It bears an enchantment of some kind, though the symbol upon it holds no significance that I'm aware of. I can help find the owner of this medallion. But I need some specific items to cast such a divination. Local wisdom dictates a grim talisman. It bears an enchantment. Bring me the bones of a wolf and a death bear plant pulled up by its roots. I need the plant alive. The wolf, not so much. With those reagents, I can conjure a divination that will lead you directly to the last person to wear this medallion. Welcome back. Warm yourself by the fire, and tell me about the reagents I requested. Good, good. Divinations can be fickle. The longer we delay, the colder the trail grows. Let's see if we can catch the scent of your prey. Mother Wolf, hear me. We seek your blessing in our hunt. Lead us to our elusive quarry. Mother Wolf smiles upon you. She has seen fit to join your pack and aid you in your hunt. Mother Wolf has the scent and will lead you to your quarry. I have enchanted the medallion with a divination spell inextricably linked to its owner. Hold it to your nose and breathe deeply. It will guide you along his trail. Mother Wolf will guide you along the way, but you must still complete the hunt and find him. If the assassin eludes you, use the medallion to recover his trail. The wolf is relentless in her pursuit. The question is, will you be like the wolf? And look! The 
magic points to the west. It's an interesting use of primitive magic. That was clearly your vampire assassin. He even wore an eye patch. It looked like he was at a small camp. And you saw that ball of magicka? It went to the west. That must be where you'll find the camp. Didn't I tell you? The clever woman's magic can be quite exciting. Not my usual process of investigation, but effective just the same. I'll leave old Mjolin to continue our research and follow after you. I want to see how the divination plays out. The assassin drained her of blood. Is it wrong to find these visions so intriguing? This one showed your assassin again, eye patch and all by a cave near a waterfall. And the ball of magicka drifted toward the west again. I suggest we go that way as quickly as possible. There's nothing we can do for her. The vampire assassin drained all the blood from her body. He took his time with her, I think. Probably needed to recover his strength after the events at the palace. Let's get after him before the trail grows cold. Chill wind depths. They aren't safe, Traveler. This 
is definitely the place in the vision. I'll slip past and scout ahead. Deal with you next time you fight. Once again, I prove that I'm a scholar, not a warrior. I don't think he expected another vampire, though. I found the camp. Thought it was deserted, but the assassin must have been hiding in the shadows. He got the drop on me. It had more to do with your arrival than anything I did. Luckily, he left behind his belongings when he departed. I saw a map and some documents over there. Why don't you take a look while I deal with this wound? I didn't get a good look at that before. Mind bringing it over? Let me take a look at what you found. The letters are both addressed to the vampire assassin. Hentak Korb. That's an unusual title. This one gives the order to assassinate the queen, though the language is guarded. The other talks about miners and a final ritual. Very ominous. It looks like a map to a mine in Carthold. It could be the one mentioned in the letter. If that's the target of another Harrowstorm ritual, we need to stop it. Head south to the mine. I'll get word to Lyris and have her meet you there. My particular habits aside, one of us needs to find the assassin, and the other needs to alert Lyris Titanborn. I can handle the latter. Besides, I have no intention entering solitude. A courier should have no trouble picking Lyris out of a crowd.
evil lairs go, I'm not impressed. I'll take that as a good sign. We think this old mine is where our assassin fled to. Good a place as any to bury him. The clever woman helped you track the Queen's assassin to his hideout in Chillwind Depths. He got away, but left behind evidence that the Coven's planning another Harrow Storm in this mine, and we're going to wreck those plans. I miss anything? Good. Less chance of them scurrying away if they think they have the advantage. I'm tired of chasing these rats through the shadows. Are you ready to end this? These tunnels better be dug on the large size. Scaffolding. Let's follow it down. Careful. The structure doesn't appear to be completely stable. Relax. It'll take more than a rickety structure to take down Lyra's Titanborn. Actually, I was more concerned for my own well-being. But if you insist... I think there's a cavern up ahead. Blackreach. Blackreach. So the legends are true. But why is there a town down here? It's just like the old legends. Blackreach. My research into Skyrim included the legends of Blackreach, of course. I never expected to see it. It's massive. That letter you found in the Assassin's hideout. It mentioned a mining consortium in the darkness below. Could this be the place? Right. If the Assassin is part of a vampire clan working with the Coven, I couldn't imagine a better hiding place than this land of constant night. My guess is that most of the miners have no idea what they've gotten themselves into. You and Lyra should. It's our best lead for finding the assassin. But if the miners have even an inkling of vampire activity down here, my presence might confuse the issue. I'm sure I can find something to do while you investigate the town. I'll keep out of sight and check the surrounding area while you and Lyris investigate the town. Meet me on the far side of town when you're finished, and we'll compare notes. Most of the legends are superstitious nonsense. It was once supposedly ruled by the Dwarves, though. If that's true, we'll see their ruins. There are also a lot of tales about monsters. Pale, feral humanoids. Giant insects. Be on your guard. This is impressive. And that's coming from someone who's been to Oblivion and back. Can't believe there's someone living down here. But at least it gives us a place to start looking. No. But all the evidence you found suggests he's down here somewhere. Let's go see what the miners can tell us. But be ready for anything. This place has ambush written all over it. Let's split up. Take a look around, ask some questions. If the assassin passed through that ramshackle town, maybe someone saw him. Call out if you run into trouble, but don't make a move until we're all back together. We can cover more ground that way. And lone travelers are less conspicuous than a large group. Plus, if one of us gets into trouble, the others can come to the rescue. Just stay close to the town. We don't want to become totally separated down here. The traps. Did those two idiots set these things throughout all of Blackreach?
watch your back. Focus on the task at hand. There will be time for that. Go bother someone else, Holker. If I don't finish this by the end of my shift, the Oversil will have my hide. <laughs> what do I look like? The town crier? If the Overseer wanted us to be observant, he wouldn't have blindfolded us when he brought us here. You weren't? Hmm. Up to this point, the Overseer and his wife have been extra careful about keeping the exact location of this mine and the mining town a secret. What makes you special, I wonder? Well, I haven't seen anyone like that. Now pick up a shovel and help me or hork off. I can't afford to lose this job. You must be new to Dusktown. You've still got that look. <laughs> well, get settled in. You won't be allowed topside again until you complete your contract. So you might as well get comfortable. A prisoner? No. Why would you think that? But we did sign a contract. Promised to stay until the work was done and never breathe a word. Otherwise, being a bonded miner with the Bitterblade Mining Consortium is a lucrative opportunity. <laughs> Can't say that I have. And I haven't seen any ghosts or monsters either, come to think of it. Even though the rest of the town can't stop talking about them. Anyway, welcome aboard, and good mining. Oh, don't let the rumors scare you. Miners are a superstitious lot. And being this far underground can play havoc with your senses. If you need to know anything else about Dust Town or working for the Bitterblade Mining Consortium, just ask. You mean those fools setting up their ghost traps? They're harmless. And if they make the superstitious miners feel better, I'm all right with that. Ellen Overseer Earlvar have been nothing but fair and honest with all of us. El Bitterblade. She owns the consortium. Earlvar's her husband and our Overseer. They built Dusk Town to support their claim. They're savvy business folk. Secretive, but that goes with the territory when you break a new mine. What a curious question. This whole place was tailor-made for undesirables. Tunnels, sunken barrows, dwarven ruins, lots of secluded spots. But don't worry, we're the only ones down here. Elle's precautions make sure of that. Same as most of us, I reckon. I saw a posting in a tavern, talked to an agent, signed some papers, and here I am. Well, after they blindfolded me and walked me all over snow and creation. The work is hard. But the wages are excellent. What a waste of time. These people have no clue as to what's going on down here. I wonder if being stupid was part of their service contract. Did you turn up anything? Just because no one saw him doesn't mean he wasn't here. Let's talk to Fen before we start turning this place inside out. Maybe he's had better luck. Right. Skulking in the shadows. Lead the way. I'm right behind you. Just in time. I spotted the vampire with the eye patch. He met with the coven witch who immediately ordered her lackeys to place witch pikes around the area. With arcane phenomena, anything's possible. If we hurry, we can stop this Harrowstone before it causes any damage. You and Lyris should split up. We need to destroy all of the witch pikes. I'll track the Queen's assassin and the coven witch. You focus on stopping the Harrowstone. 
I'll find you after that, and we'll confront the vampire and the witch together. Move. You take the east side, I'll take the west. Then meet in the middle. Stop the Harrowstone before it could even get started. Now to deal with the vampire and the witch. Well done, my friend. Before the witch could even begin her ritual, I saw the magicka disappear like the flame of a snuff candle. The witch and the vampire assassin fled to Kargenthams, a dwarven ruin. We can deal with them in there. Time is of the essence. You get to the ruin, I'll find Lyris and we'll meet you there. It's southeast of Dusktown. If you get there before us, go inside and guard the entrance until we arrive. since the presence of other vampires.
Now we need to find Sister Thought. Listen in. I'll unlock the door. Rise, Exarch, and be reborn! That's it, Alice. The Ashen Lord Where commands it. Place? And so we live once more, Orphra. Alive again? How? You have the Ice Reach Coven to thank for that, werewolf. Using my recipes, witch. I meant no disrespect to Exarch Singalis. <sighs> We're being watched, brother. Next time, Tharda, the Ashen Lord, will expect more than the restoration of a single reliquary. Now deal with the intruders, or I'll toss you to the Harrow Fiends. Come out, little skeevers. Come out and play with Sister Tharda. How many of your sisters am I gonna have to kill before you give up? Let's go after the other two.
You saw it too, right? That werewolf shed that statue like a snake sheds its skin. Was she inside that stone husk the whole time, waiting to be awakened? Or did the ritual somehow summon her into that vessel? There's a lot I still don't understand. A ritual, obviously. Remember the altar at Kilcreath? We found the urn, the reliquary, and shards from a large stone vessel. I think they were the remains of one of those stone husks. I'm not sure how, but it all ties back to the Harrow Storms. I thought the purpose of the Harrow Storms were to create Harrow Fiends. Now I think that's only a byproduct. The storm somehow gathered energy that the witch used to summon Ulfra the werewolf. Ulfra seems to think she was brought back to life. I've come to the conclusion that anything is possible where magic is concerned. I'm going to look around with Lyris, then return to Old Mjolan to finish studying the Witch Pike Residue. Maybe that will help me understand how the ritual works. Theoretically, using my knowledge of alchemy and Old Mjolan's understanding of reach magic, we should be able to figure something out once we know what components were used in the ritual. I don't know of any Ashen Lord, but Exarch. I came across the term after the incident at the mass grave in Bankurai. It's a rank, used by the ancient army. Its members were buried in that unhallowed grave. Their remains were smuggled here. The Grey Host. It was an army of vampires and werewolves that rampaged across Hammerfell during the First Era. There aren't a lot of records remaining, and even the burial site was a closely held secret. Exarch was a rank, like General, I suppose. I... I don't know. But that's the impression I got from the witch's conversation with the Exarchs. I wish I knew more about this Zengalus and Ulfra, though. And the Ashen Lord, for that matter. That's why I want to check the ritual site. Damn it! The vampire and the werewolf are long gone. They call themselves Singalus and Ulfra. And they had an unusual rank or title. Exarch. I wonder what that means. Yeah, I heard. No idea who or what that is, though. Maybe Fen can make sense of what we saw down here. In the meantime, I'm gonna head back inside. I want to get a better look at those stone husks that were left behind. While Fen and I examine that ritual site more closely, you should return to Solitude and inform Svana that her mother's assassin has been taken care of. She'd want to know. More than that, she deserves to know. I left Svana back at the Lonely Troll under the care of that drunken orc Mog. Unless he ignored my rather stern warnings, he should be keeping the princess there. I'll meet you back in the city once we finish here. Anything that tells us more about what the Coven and its allies are trying to accomplish. Maybe something about this Ashen Lord. I'd even settle for a clue that points us to any other strongholds they have down here. We need something more to go on. Because I don't trust the security at the palace. Vampire or not, the assassin had too easy a time getting close to the Queen. Besides, Svana feels comfortable at the tavern. I figured she needed some comfort after watching her mother die.
Finally! Waiting in a tavern without a drink is maddening. How do other people do it? And Mog hasn't been helpful. His solution to every problem involves a great amount of alcohol. What news of the bastard who murdered my mother? Did you find him? I would have preferred to see him dragged back here for a proper trial and execution. But at least justice has been served. Were you able to determine who was behind the murder? Was it connected to the threat you came to warn my father about? Damn those Reach Witches! And damn my father for being so... so... obstinate! But what does the Coven want? Are they planning to kill my father? What else can you tell me about this threat to our kingdom? That's horrible. But there must be more to this than simply turning my people into monsters. Well, I'll do what I can to help you. Mother would have wanted me to. What you've done and discovered will be enough to convince my father. It has to be. I... I have something to talk to you about. <laughs> 